Thank you very much. Thank you very much for invi invitation and uh, such nice introduction. Um, good morning. My name is uh, Michał Skura. Uh, I would like uh, to introduce you to uh, uh, Pinksy's uh, project. Uh, uh, Pinksy is, uh, is a project uh, that uh, seeks to understand uh, the impacts of uh, invasive Pacific pink salmon in North Atlantic and in recently uh, invaded uh, rivers. Um, yeah. And uh, this project has a strong support from many collaborators uh, from countries where the pink salmon have been already recorded. A um, few words about the distribution uh, that was already mentioned uh, in the previous uh, uh, presentation. Uh, pink salmon, uh, we can uh, normally expect pink salmon uh, on, uh, between uh, the California and Alaska and between East Siberian Sea tributaries up to Sea of Japan. Pink salmon is the smallest, the most abundant, with the fastest uh, oceanic growth rate. Uh, they typically have uh, two years life cycle, and uh, as was it mentioned during the first presentation, they leave the river uh, when they have only uh, more or less 3.5 centimeter length. Here is the gentleman from Iceland, uh, recorded uh, in one of the uh, fish, uh, fish counter. Uh, well, uh, until recently, uh, pink salmon uh, have, uh, uh, have uh, reached uh, the British Isles uh, in tins or uh, and uh, frozen as a frozen fillets. Uh, it was already also mentioned about uh, the, the history of the uh, translocation of this fish from uh, the. Uh, Sahalin, the southern Sahalin island population and uh, from the another uh, much more uh, north population uh, to the White Sea tributaries. Something, oh, there was sudden un, um, unexpected uh, phenomenon in uh, 2017 when we uh, can observe the la, uh, many uh, pink salmon uh, spawners along the coastline of many uh, North uh, European uh, countries like Norway, UK or Iceland. Uh, this also mentioned, it was also mentioned about the, this dramatic increase of number and uh, the, 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 the growth is almost like exponentially. And uh, new information from Iceland, uh, the number of the pink salmon recorded there also increased and last year, uh, the, uh, yeah, the number of the pinks recorded there uh, reached almost 340 uh, specimens. Uh, such dramatic uh, 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 um, such a dramatic uh, uh, explosion uh, um, has. Uh, uh, became a great source of the concern in all Atlantic countries where the, the uh, fish uh, were caught. And uh, we have uh, the questions about the implications of this invasion, about the competition uh, at sea with native salmonids, and the competition with the native salmonids uh, in freshwater. And uh, uh, this invasion also uh, generate, has generated concern uh, scientists, uh, fish stock managers, uh, anglers uh, about uh, the future of the Atlantic uh, salmon population. Some, or, yeah, some of these populations are already uh, even below 90 or 80 percent of the historical uh, level. And here is the other, our project. The aim of the project uh, is uh, to, uh, uh, to determine the impact of the pink salmon on native salmon at sea and in recently invited rivers. Uh, we want to uh, uh, assess distribution of the finny grounds of the pink salmon in the North Atlantic, uh, assess the competition between uh, those uh, two uh, 
some on species. Uh, we will we are going to um, assess the field metabolic rate and the thermal sensitivity of both uh, species, as well uh, predict uh, the global warming on future uh, distribution uh, of pink salmon uh, in uh, North Atlantic. Uh, in the rivers, uh, uh, we work. Uh, we uh, want to investigate predation by the native fish on pink salmon juveniles, uh, aspect of feeding, and uh, um, assess the duration of the freshwater phase of the life cycle of pink salmon. Uh, we uh, collected uh, the biological samples from uh, more or less 500 fish, uh, and uh, the, the, uh, the, the material uh, originated from the countries where the pink salmon were uh, recorded. Uh, the material uh, consists of the otholiths, uh, scales, and uh, muscle tissue. And uh, the fish, uh, the, the material were, are, uh, the material is from fish uh, caught uh, in rivers, in uh, inshore and uh, offshore. And. Uh, what uh, we are going to do, we will use the stable isotope analysis the, and the uh, results uh, will give us uh, knowledge about the distribution at sea and the metabolic rate. And using the uh, oceanic metabolic tools, we can uh, uh, prepare the, the map or give the information, uh, answer about the future the distribution of, uh, of this fish at sea. And uh, similar technique, but uh, different material. Uh, we, we, would, we, yeah, we are planning to, to, uh, to assess the, the pink salmon or ecological role of the pink salmon juveniles as a prey uh, and as the predators. So for, the, uh, um, for assessing the, the, the role as a prey, we will use the, the pink salmon juveniles uh, for, for stable isotope analysis and uh, to, uh, to assess the role as, uh, yeah, as a prey, we will use the, the material from the uh, Atlantic salmon and the sea trout uh, uh, parts, but for the uh, assessment uh, of the predator, we will use the pink salmon. Yeah. Uh, and uh, we did electrofishing in Scotland uh, this year. Uh, in March, we collected uh, uh, the, the samples into rivers in Thorso and Oikel. And uh, we found that the pink salmon are already there. And uh, this is the first uh, uh, pink salmon, uh, the, the, the pictures of the first pink salmon caught in both rivers. And uh, we confirmed the established population uh, in UK. Uh, a month ago, we did uh, uh, well, we fished uh, in Iceland in three rivers, in Bosnia, Grimsa, and Langa. Those rivers are close to the Reykjavik, and uh, we confirm the presence of uh, pink salmon uh, smalls in all three rivers. And uh, we also confirm the established population in Iceland. And uh, catching uh, the pink salmon smalls uh, generate. Uh, 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 yeah, generate uh, considerable interest, and uh, um, it was uh, it uh, yeah it was reported in uh, national Icelandic uh, television. Uh, our initial results. So uh, we have the the proof uh, that uh, uh, sea trout juveniles uh, consume the pink salmon smolts, and uh, it seems that. Uh, uh, Pink uh, salmon smalls also uh, feed during the, the, the rivers. Uh, and our outputs. So we will have later, or as the output, the, the knowledge about the distribution of the feeding grounds uh, in North Atlantic. Uh, we will have uh, the, uh, the results that give us the information about the potential competition, potential overlap between pink salmon 
and uh, Atlantic salmon, and also the um, prediction on, of uh, climate change impact of future distribution. Uh, in rivers, uh, we can confirm uh, established population uh, in UK and uh, in uh, Iceland, and uh, we are working uh, on ecological role of pink salmon. Thank you very much for uh, your attention. Thank you.